Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Fav. And I'm Rome. Today we are continuing Ruby Volume 1 with Episode 4, The Next Step. So, safe to say you're enjoying more content from Mr. Teeth as you're wearing a Camp Camp shirt right now. And uh, I'll point out as we continue to watch Ruby, uh, you actually will hear the voices of Max, Neil, and Nikki from Camp Camp in Ruby's, uh, in Ruby's series. Love it. Yeah. Now this again is a two-part episode, so we will be watching both episode four and five in this video. And we will begin in three, two, one. Wake up, lazy bud! <sighs> it's morning, it's morning, it's morning, it's morning! <sighs> I can't believe we've been at Beacon for a full 24 hours! Not that I thought we'd get kicked out or anything, I mean, you're the perfect student and I'm, well, I'm me! But it's just crazy, you know? We've been friends for so long! What are the odds we'd still be together? Well, not together, together. Oh, look very not that I'm not saying you're not handsome, you are handsome, but that'd just be weird, right? Right. What was I thinking? <laughs> but still, I hope we end up on the same team together. Ooh, we should come up with some sort of plan to make sure we end up on the same team together. What if we bribe that master? No, that won't work. He has a school. I know. We'll have some sort of signal, like a distress signal. <gasps> a secret signal so we can find each other in the forest. Can you imitate a sloth? Nora? Yes, Ren? I don't think sloths make a lot of noise. That's why it's perfect. No one will suspect we're working together. Come on, Nora. Let's go. But not together, together. <laughs> Wonder what those two are so worked up about. Oh, who knows? So, you seem awfully chipper this morning. <laughs> yep. No more awkward small talk or getting to know you stuff. Today, I get to let my sweetheart do the talking. <laughs> <laughs> now, remember, Ruby, you're not the only one going through initiation. If you want to grow up, you're going to have to meet new people and learn to work together. Uh, you sound like dad. Okay, first of all, what does many people have to do with fighting? And secondly, I don't need people to help me grow up. I drink milk. <laughs> teams. I don't know why. I'll just be on your team or something. Maybe you should try being on someone else's team. My dearest sister Yang, are you implying that you do not wish to be on the same team as me? What? No, of course I do. I just thought, I don't know, maybe it would help you break out of your shell. What the? I don't need to break out of my shell. That's absolutely ridiculous. There's no way I put my gear in locker 636 yesterday. I would have remembered having to count that high. <laughs> so, Pira, oh my God, have you given any thought to whose team you would like to be on? I'm sure everyone must be eager to unite with such a strong, well-known individual, such as yourself. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. I was planning on letting the chips fall where they may. Well, I was thinking maybe we could be on a team together. Well, that sounds grand. Great! This will be perfect. The smartest girl in class combined with the strongest girl in class. Together we will be unstoppable. I can see it now. We'll be popular. <laughs> we'll be celebrities. We'll get perfect grades. Nothing could come between us now. You know what else is great? Me, Jean Arc. Nice to meet you. You again? <laughs> nice to meet you, Jean. Yeah, yeah. So, Weiss, good note, but over here, your fondness of me the other day. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Don't worry. No need to be embarrassed. So, been hearing rumors about teams. I was thinking you and me would make a good one. What do you say? Actually, I think the teams are comprised of four students each, so. You don't say. Well, hot stuff. Play your cards right, and you can go <laughs> with the winning team. Jean, is it. Do you have any idea who you were talking to? Not in the slightest, Snow Angel. This is Pira. <laughs> Hello again. Pira graduated top of her class at Sanctum. Never heard of it. Uh, she's won the Mistral Regional Tournaments four years in a row. A new record. The what? She's on the front of every Pumpkin Pete's Marshmallow Flakes box. <clears throat> That's you? <laughs> the first star athletes and cartoon characters. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty cool. Sadly, the cereal isn't very good for you. So, after hearing all of this, do you really think you're in a position to ask her to be on your team? I guess not. Sorry. Actually, Jean, I think you'd make a great leader. Don't oh, stop it. Seriously, please stop it. This kind of behavior should not be encouraged. Sounds like Pierre's on board for Team Jean. Spots are filling up quick. Now, I'm not supposed to do this, but maybe I could pull some strings, find a place for you. What do you say? All right, that's a bit too close. Pira, a little help, please? <laughs> ah! I'm sorry. <laughs> all first year students, please report to Beacon Cliff for initiation. Again, all first year students report to Beacon Cliff immediately. It was nice meeting you. 
Likewise. Having some trouble there, Lady Killer? I don't understand. My dad said all women look for is confidence. Where did I go wrong? Snow Angel probably wasn't the best start. Come on, John. Let's go. <laughs> for years, you have trained to become warriors. And today, your abilities will be evaluated in the Emerald Forest. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard rumors about the assignment of teams. Well, allow us to put an end to your confusion. Each of you will be given teammates. Today. What? <laughs> These teammates will be with you for the rest of your time here at Beacon. So it is in your best interest to be paired with someone with whom you can work well. <gasps> that being said, the first person you make eye contact with after landing will be your partner for the next four years. <laughs> I told you. After you've partnered up, make your way to the northern end of the forest. You will meet opposition along the way. Do not hesitate to destroy everything in your path, or you will die. <laughs> <laughs> you will be monitored and graded for the duration of your friend. initiation, but our instructors will not intervene. You will find an abandoned temple at the end of the path containing several relics. Each pair must choose one and return to the top of the cliff. We will guard that item, as well as your standing, and grade you appropriately. Are there any questions? Yeah, um, sir? Good. Now, take your position. <laughs> uh, sir? Please don't I've ask got a question. A, a question. <laughs> so, this landing strategy thing, uh, wh what is it? You're, like, dropping us off or something? No. You will be falling. <laughs> oh, I see. So, like, did you hand out parachutes for us? No. You will be using your own landing strategy. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, um, what exactly is a landing strategy? <laughs> Probably, he probably pooped his pants just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> that was too funny. Oh my god. That was too funny. Okay, so uh, at the very beginning of the episode, we were introduced uh, technically three new characters, but started out with Nora and Ren. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, in this season, or sorry, in this, uh, in this volume and up to volume three, Ren's voice actor remains the same, and he is the creator of Ruby. Okay. Seeing them, you can kind of tell that there there might be something more that Nora wants from Ren in that sense. Uh, yeah, seeing as that she followed him around, like, yeah. everywhere he went. And Ren's just kind of, like, nonchalant yeah, about it. Yeah, he's just, yeah, not, not having it. Not having it. Uh, then we got introduced to Pure Nikos. Yes. And... You know, it seems like she was, you know, absolutely, like, top of her class. Mm -hmm. uh, Weiss pointed out that, like, she's, you know, won, uh, uh, you know, tournament after tournament four years in a row, which was apparently a new record or something. Okay. And just flew right over John's head. Yeah. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> yeah. And then get, and then the only way he knew where she was from was just from seeing that she was on a breakfast cereal. <laughs> He is absolutely adorable, and I just, I love his humor. Poor kid. <laughs> <laughs> so now with part two uh, for the uh, for the next step. Mm -hmm. uh, so now they, they are given their assignment. They have to retrieve a relic at the end of the forest yep. and return back to the top of the cliff. Okay. And just before... <laughs> just before... After being catapulted off the cliff and... <laughs> poor, poor John. Poor John. Yeah. And the thing is that they're they're really mentioning you need to have a good landing strategy. I don't know how you could have a landing strategy in the real world without a goddamn parachute. Well, that's what he said. He's like, do we get a parachute or anything? And he's like, no. No, you so, will be falling. <laughs> I'm, I'm really curious to see how this plays out. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is Ruby, Volume 1, Episode 5, First Step, Part 2, beginning in 3, 2, 1.
The guy said whoever they make eye contact with as soon as they land partner for the whole time they're there. Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh god, poor guy. <laughs> Who she might see first, but I'll yeah. wait. I'll wait. I don't but I have a feeling. <laughs> oh, what about Blake? So mysterious, so calm. Plus, she likes books. Well, then again, I'm not sure I'd be able to hold a conversation with her. <laughs> okay, who else do I know in this school? There's Yang, John, Blake, and <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> Wait! Where are you going? We're supposed to be teammates. Help! Don't be stupid. <laughs> By no means does this make us friends. You came back! <laughs> you came back? Who's gonna get me down from here? John? Do you have any spots left on your team? Very funny. What's the hurry? I will not let my mission be delayed because you're too slow. I swear if I get a bad grade because you're... What the? I'm not slow, see? You don't have to worry about me. When did... Wait, just because I don't exactly know how to deal with people doesn't mean I don't know how to deal with monsters. You're about to see a whole different side of me today, Weiss. And after it's all over, you're gonna be like, Wow, that Ruby girl is really, really cool. <laughs> and I want to be your friend. <laughs> Don't tell me that's how it ends. <laughs> really? So we had just seen uh, uh, episode five, first yep. step part two. That that was word jumble in a way. Uh, we had just seen episode five, the first step part two. Yes. Now he, you had a feeling that Ruby was going to run into Weiss, didn't you? I did. I was going to say it, but I honestly, honestly, absolutely knew she was going to run into her. And I just, I think that's great because their characters aren't getting along right, like, right off the bat. So to see them have to, like, team up together, I think that it's going to be really great for Weiss to be able to see what Ruby can do. So I, I knew it. I knew it. So when uh, uh, Weiss had uh, seen that she had ran into Ruby, it was just to meet, like, oh, no, I, I don't want to deal with this person. Yeah. And then she sees where her second option is, and it's John. <laughs> She's like, she's I like, think I'll just go back. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought that was funny. I mean, poor guy. He's just so so innocent and uh, adorable, and I just think he's he's awesome. But I can understand, let's say, why she would have wanted to go back and and pick Ruby instead. Alrighty. Uh, anyways, that's our uh, that's our reaction for it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye guys.